you know, Mayflash is really stepping their game up uh, because they make excellent products at an affordable price and they know what the players want. So I feel like in a few years, you're going to see Mayflash having a much bigger influence in the gaming community. But anyway, welcome back everyone. I hope everyone's having a great day. This video, I will unbox and review the Mayflash F300 Elite. Basically, the F300 Elite is the bigger brother, the upgraded version of the Mayflash F300. For $35 more, you are going to get 9 tournament grade Sama buttons and the Sama JOF lever. So if you're looking for the cheapest arcade stick on the market right now with uh, tournament grade parts inside, this is the arcade stick for you. I will have a comparison video uh, for these two arcade sticks coming soon but I don't want to make this video too long uh, so this video we're going to be focusing on this one uh, today now let's open this guy so let me give you that 360 side front side bottom top I really appreciate packaging design so I always want to show you guys the packaging and now let's open it it's going to be the same thing as the F300 uh, with a tab here but I also wish sometimes they put a little sticker or a security seal so you know it's little things that makes the customer happy but it's not a big deal all right like that it's gonna be like that give you the, the angle so it's gonna come with the the foam let me show you it this way. It's got kind of the typical foam. Uh, we got a USB to micro USB. It looks like this one does not come with a USB to USB C. It also on the back it didn't say Neo Geo Mini, so that could be the case. So this one is for PS3, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PC, Android, and the Switch. The F300 uh, also says Neo Geo Mini and it comes with a USB to USB-C adapter. Maybe they want to keep this, uh, keep the price lower on this one for those who doesn't need that adapter. So that way you don't have to pay for it because I guess they want to really focus on like the PlayStation and the Xbox and the bigger consoles maybe. Uh, so this is the, oh yeah, this, uh, you will need the same thing for the F300, you are going to need this cable, the USB to micro USB uh, into your PlayStation controller or your Xbox controller in order for this, this controller to work because this is a universal or case stick. Now, let's take this out. manual the same thing as the F300 first thing I noticed is this looks very similar to the Nintendo 8 Biddle control arcade stick color color colorway um, it has that gray and black but I think the 8 fiddle has red buttons but the shape and the overall design looks very similar so now let's go over all the buttons very similar to the F300 you have your your console input whatever console you're going for you want to switch it to that one and you have your d-pad your turbo buttons you have your select and share buttons and your home button your playstation buttons and here you have your 9 uh, it's funny how they put nine. It's basically eight Sama buttons here, and then you also get a the the ninth one, which is a twenty four millimeter uh, Sama button. I I feel like they honestly didn't have to put this one because all it really matters is the eight action buttons. Like a Sama button for your a Sama menu button doesn't really matter that much to me. Uh, so a recommendation is if you are upgrading your F300 You might not want to upgrade the menu button 
um, because I kind of I feel like it's kind of a waste because you're not gonna really press it that much and during gameplay it, it doesn't matter so, so you can leave that alone and save that money or buy an extra button for your action buttons you know just something to think about over here you have your Samwa JOF the front you have the logo the side and the side and then the top here you have your USB USB port where the USB goes in here and then the micro USB would go to your PlayStation 4 or Xbox controller and then your the cable for the case stick would go into your console and on the back we have a metal panel we have four rubber corner padding we have six screws just like F300 and the weight the weight is very similar to the F300 it has a good weight to it and it's pretty the, the rubber pad is really keeping it keeping it in place like my, my table is moving but my but our case stick is not moving so yeah a few things I really like about this arcade stick is that it doesn't look cheap. It doesn't look like a kid's toy. You know how some arcade stick looks too like colorful and the plastic looks very shiny. It looks like a kid's toy. But this one give you that serious look. And I also like that it is not smooth, uh, not glossy. So the, the plastic on, on the side here, basically the overall plastic and the, the, the black part here is, is the matte finished plastic. So if, I, if you rub my, let's say my nails over it, you can hear the sound on, on here, on here. So I really like that. So that way, uh, when you put your wrist on it and when it gets sweaty, it's not gonna stick that much uh, and fingerprint is not gonna stay on here. So I really like that. Um, on this one, it's glossy. So if I run my nails over it, you don't really hear anything. Whereas here, you can hear it, okay? Um, but this one does not have a, there's no headphone jack on this one. So now let's do a sound comparison. On this side, this was one of my favorite entry level back in the days in the Street Fighter 4 uh, times. Very good arcade stick. So let's do a sound test. So these are Sama parts and the Sama JLF lever. So basically the parts are the same. So now let's do a sound test. The main flash. Now do a the lever test. As you can hear, it's very similar. So because they're pretty much the same parts. All right, guys. Let's let's give the Xbox some love this time. Let's go to option. Let's go to setting. Let's go to difficulty and bump up the difficulty. Uh, so now we go to single player, arcade mode. Let's pick a fast character. Let's pick Young. And then let's pick uh, Alex. Okay. So let's see how good this arcade stick is. Okay, it is very good, very responsive. Oh, 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 run away.
got me, he got me. There we go. You can definitely see how responsive this this arcade stick is. Oh. There there we go. Oh. This arcade stick is not bad. Let me let me switch to a different character. So I connect it back to the PS4 controller to show you guys that it works with the PS4 and the Xbox. Uh, and also to show you guys how easy it is and how effortless, how responsive, how smooth the controller is. You know, for 90 bucks. It is very, it's a very good arcade stick, you know. If you're looking for something with like LED lights and like an arcade stick that opens, um, maybe like a, also a headphone jack or like a, something like fancier features, you know. Maybe go for something. A little bit more expensive, but if you're going for like the basic, basic stuff, you know, something like this would be you know more than enough. So you know, if you're looking for something under 100 bucks that have premium arcade parts in it, you know, check definitely check this out. So this is an excellent arcade stick at a really good price. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, but you want the best parts. You want the Sawa buttons, you want the Sawa JOF lever, this is definitely a great choice. If you want the previous version, if you want to spend a little bit less, but you want to do it yourself, you want to upgrade, you want to get the experience, get the F300. Uh, try out the F300, you know, wait until the buttons break and then buy uh, Sawa buttons and Sawa lever and then do it yourself. So that way you get that experience. And I will leave all the information in the descriptions below. Uh, you know, Mayflag really uh, knows, I guess, the players. They probably know that everyone is buying the F300 to upgrade it to Sawa parts. So they figure, let's just make one for you. So I wish more company would do something like this. You know, it's something to help the gaming community. It is something fun for the gaming community. So I really like what they're doing. Um, so yeah. If you have any more questions, don't be shy to leave a comment. I love reading your comments and answering your questions. Uh, like, comment, subscribe is always helpful for a small channel. And thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.